hands on the earth. Walk those toes up. Whoa, I'm upside down. Come on, Teddy, it's time. Hi, friends. Thanks for joining my friend Teddy and I for our MOOCA moment. How are you feeling today, Teddy? Remember, anything and everything we feel is okay. How are you feeling? Thanks for sharing. Today, Teddy, in our MOOCA moment, we're practicing mindfulness. We learned mindfulness in our last episode. If you didn't catch that episode on Longmont Public Media, make sure to find us on the internet somewhere. Just search MOOCA Moment. Today we're practicing our mindfulness again, Teddy. Do you remember what mindfulness means? That's right, we use this jar to help us. Practicing mindfulness is paying attention to what's happening in this moment. And sometimes our brains feel like this, and it can be challenging to focus, and that's okay. Today in our practice, we're going to try and notice ourselves, our body, our minds, and our hearts in the present moment. To begin, Teddy, let's think. What is something you love about you? Oh, you love how brave you can be. Thanks for sharing, Teddy. I love my smile. What do you love about you? Are we ready to practice today, Teddy? Oh, good. I'm so glad. First, we move. Then, breathe. And rest. Then, sit. Come on. It's time. First, we move. Then, we breathe. And rest. Then, sit. First we move, then we breathe and rest and sit. First we move, then we breathe and rest and sit. First we move, then we breathe and rest and sit. First we move. Stand up tall, friends. Let's start in that mountain pose, really tall. Stomp your feet. Imagine that string on the crown of your head pulls you to the stars, and then we'll roll our head around. Oh, you could go nice and slow. Remember, we're practicing mindfulness. Can you pay attention to how your neck feels? What if we hold it in one spot? Other side. Oh. I'm gonna go a little bit faster. Check with yourself. Make sure you're making a kind choice for your body. Let's try those chicken wings. Fingertips on your shoulders. Make those big circles. Can we go a little bit faster? A little slow. Let's reach up high to the stars. Reach a little more. Can you feel space? The stretch on the side of your body, maybe on your back. What do you notice? We'll lean to one side, crescent moon. And then stretch to the other side, crescent moon. And then elephant trunk. And you shake your head, shake your arms. What if we tried an elephant trunk with our legs in a straddle? Can you spread out your legs? Whoa. My hands are closer. Maybe your fingers can touch the earth. Could we keep one hand on the earth and point the other to the stars? What do you notice? I notice my back is twisted. Do you feel that? Try the other side. Nice stretching. Can we do a crisscross? Take one hand and go all the way to the other foot. And back up. Crisscross to the other side. And back up. Ah, let's try some jumps. Jump around. Jump, jump, jump. 
jump around. Can you try a duck jump? Whoa, you brought both knees up to your belly. Try another. Tuck. And a straddle. Open, close. Open, close. Really quick. Open, close. Nice jumping. Today, to practice our mindfulness of our body, we're going to practice balancing. There's lots of different places on our body that we could balance. Let's start with our feet. Hmm, try both feet on the earth. Can you feel both feet on the earth? Maybe you can wiggle your toes. We're gonna turn into a tree. Imagine those roots going down into the earth, holding you here, and see what happens if you lift a leg. A tree pose. We've been here before. If it feels too easy today, you could try a challenge. What happens if we put our foot in front? What about behind us? Whoa, in front of us. Whoa, behind us. And as we move and try and balance, notice what your foot is doing and your toes. Whoa, it's okay to fall down. It's okay to feel frustrated. Try again. Let's try the other side. Take a breath and then lift that leg. You're balancing. You're a tree. How about this leg in front and behind? In front of us and behind us. Whoa. Whoa. It's okay to fall down and smile. Take a breath. Try again. Some balance tips. You could reach out your hands like airplane wings. You could even turn them into a fist. Or try and look at something in front of you that's not moving. And maybe that will help you be still. <sighs> Thanks for trying that balance on our feet. Let's come down to the earth. Look at Teddy. Teddy's trying his boat pose. Would you like to try a boat pose? We can try a boat pose balance on our bottom. Let's set it up first. We have our feet and our bottom on the earth. And take your hands and hold behind your legs. Take some bravery. You're right, Teddy. Now we lift our toes. Whoa, you're a boat. Another breath. Find some bravery and let go. It's okay to fall down. Smile and try again. Can you straighten your knees? Can you get your oar? Row, row, row your boat. There you go, friends. Boat pose. What do you notice in your boat pose, Teddy? Your belly. Nice noticing. Check in with your belly. When I'm in boat pose, it takes my muscles in my belly. Squeeze those muscles. That's holding you up. Look here. If I'm like this, you're like this. Try and be strong in your belly. Thanks for trying. Oh, let's do some more stretching. Put your legs straight out. Shake out your legs. Reach up high to the sky. And then reach for your toes. Ah. Reach up high to the sky. And reach for your toes. Could bring our knees into our belly. Give yourself that big hug. To remind yourself that lovely thing you said to yourself, I love my smile. I love how brave I am. I love that I'm a kind friend. And then butterfly, glue those feet together, flap your wings. We're flying. Up, 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 up. And down, 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 down. Next, let's come onto our hands and knees for some balance. Let's try and lift a leg. Whoa. What if we also lift our hand? Whoa. 
Let's try that again. I'm going to focus on opposite. I have my right leg and my left hand. And my spine from the top of my head all the way down to my bottom is still pretty straight. How about left leg, right hand, opposites. Oh, you want to try a challenge? We'll do the same side. What if I lift my right leg and my right hand? Oh, notice my spine now. I'm going to turn so my heart is pointing towards the sky. My hand is up towards the sky. Maybe I can touch my hand to my toe. Nice balancing. We'll try the other side. Can I keep our right knee and our right hand on the earth this time and lift my left side? And then notice here, be mindful of yourself in this moment. Are you breathing? And back to the earth. Let's take a rest after that. Take a child's pose or a little seed. <sighs> And then let's stretch some more. Let's find the up dog. We've been here before. Up dog, hello son. And then a down dog to stretch the back body. To bend the knees, shake out the head. And then child's pose. <sighs> Let's do that flow one more time. Stretch out your arms. Up dog. Hello, son. Down dog. Ooh, and down dog, we could try a balance. Can you lift a foot? And switch, try the other leg. You could shake it like a tail. back down to the earth. Hmm. Where else could we balance on our body? You have an idea, Teddy? Our hands? Just our hands? Hmm. Okay, we could try. I could start like this and try and hop. These are called donkey kicks. You try, put your hands on the earth, feel that strength there, you are so strong, and then hop. And maybe for a moment, you notice yourself balancing on just your hands. Make a kind choice for yourself. We never wanna hurt our body. Sometimes this could make you go too far and you might fall down. That's okay. Make sure you're practicing on something soft. I have another trick to help you. Some help from the wall. The wall can help me practice standing on my hands. Make sure you ask at home if you're practicing with us. Ask your grown-up at home where there's a safe spot that you could try this on a wall at your house. We're going to put our hands on the earth and walk those toes up the wall. Wow, I'm upside down. What if I leave one foot on the wall and push my toes away? Whoa, and then the other. After you stay up, come down, take a break, and then try again. So it takes a lot of strength. Shake out those arms, whew, wiggle them around, take a breath, and then we can try again. Hands on the earth, walk those toes up. Whoa, I'm upside down. And then notice, how do my hands feel? And my back, and my toes. 
Am I breathing? And then come on down. Oh, thanks for trying new things with me. Let's get ready to breathe. First we move, then we breathe and rest and sit. Find easy pose and we'll get ready to breathe. Remember your lungs are in your chest. We sit up tall and proud. This is our tool to help us, our breathing ball. When we breathe in, our belly fills. When we breathe out, the air leaves. Try to breathe in and out through your nose. Can you feel it in your nose? Where else do you feel your breath? Today we are going to learn the five finger breath. Teddy's ready. Can you hold up your hand? Show me five fingers. Take your other hand and make a marker. And we're going to trace our fingers. This movement is going to connect to our breath. Nice and slow, just like we do this. Nice and slow, we're going to trace our fingers up as we breathe in. Down as we breathe out. Big breath in. Big breath 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 out. Let's try it again. Five breaths on the other fingers. Get your marker ready. Here we go. Take a moment to practice your mindfulness and notice right now if you noticed how five deep breaths changes you. We'll take this energy with us and we get ready to rest. First we move, then we breathe and rest and sit. We're going to find our back onto the earth. Into rest pose. Teddy's ready. Can you try rest pose in your space? <sighs> and in today's rest, since we've been noticing today what we love about ourselves, we're going to try and grow some love in our hearts. First, we'll notice our body melting onto the earth. See if you can rest your whole body. And then find your breath. Notice where you feel your breath in the body. I feel it on my belly. I'm going to leave my hand there to bring my mind back to my breath when it wanders. And maybe every time you exhale or breathe out, you rest a little more. Your body feels heavy, melting. And then I invite you to use your imagination. Pretend there's a bright light on your heart. Do you see it? And when you breathe in, the light grows brighter and stronger, and bigger, illuminating out of your chest. Every time you breathe in, it fills up your heart with this light. Do you see it? This light represents love and kindness. When we breathe in, our heart fills. And as we breathe out, we're going to send this to our whole body. Big breath in, see it in your heart. Big breath out, see it in your whole body. And 
maybe you can say to yourself in this moment, may I be happy, may I be healthy and safe, may I have love in my heart for myself, each other, and this earth. Next, we're going to take the same light that we're imagining in our heart, and we're going to send it out of our heart to all the people. You can imagine in your mind all the people in your life that you love, your neighbors, your community, or the whole earth, and all the people that we share this earth with. And when we breathe in, we'll fill up our heart. Do you see that bright light there? And then when you breathe out, send this light of love to the whole earth and all the people that we love. And we can say to all of these people, may we all be happy. May we all be healthy and safe. May we all have love in our hearts for ourselves, each other, and our earth. And then let that go and practice a moment of mindfulness and notice yourself and how this imagination may have changed how you feel. And then wake your body back up, wiggle your fingers and toes. Take your time and I'll meet you to sit. First we move, then we breathe and rest and sit. Sometimes we feel like this, we are calm, ready to focus, but sometimes we feel like this. And when that happens, we can practice our mukha and rest, just as the jar sits still and the thoughts and emotions settle. Maybe we can sit still and our thoughts and emotions can settle. Today in our sit, we're going to notice our body, being mindful of our body, and where our body is touching other parts of you. Let's start at the feet. Can you notice your toes touching your toes? See if you can bring your focus, your mind, to that space, that sensation, that feeling there. And when your mind wanders, because of course it always does, smile and bring it back. And what about our legs? Do you notice where your legs are touching other pieces of you? And then your hands. Do you notice your hands touching pieces of you? And what that feels like right there. In your arms. Can you notice the feeling of your arms? And what about in the face? Can you notice the lips or the tongue touching other pieces of you? And maybe for a moment you can notice the whole body. Thank you for sharing this practice with us. Thanks for practicing with me, Teddy. How are you feeling now? Ooh, you're feeling ready. That's cool. Oh, you listened to your mind as it wandered and said so kindly to yourself, that's okay, and brought it back. Wow, Teddy, I'm impressed. Next, next episode, we're going to talk about self-talk and what our mind is saying to ourselves.
Thanks for sharing. How do you feel? We know that all feelings don't last forever, and whatever you're feeling is okay. And sometimes, when we practice our mukha, it changes how we feel. All you need to practice your mukha is your body, your mind, and your heart, which are always with you. Thank you for practicing. See you next time. I like to feel as strong as a tree, calm as the sea, happy and free to move and breathe and just be me. It's time for a mooka moment.